Hello everybody and welcome to this new lesson. Uh, today we will do the Curator Community Edition installation. Uh, the purpose behind that uh, is the enterprise version of Curator is not available for everyone. And fortunately, this uh, Community Edition is coming uh, free of charge. Actually, it's coming with a perpetual free license and it does require less hardware resources than the Curator Enterprise version and it supports the application's installation as well. Uh, some limitations for this uh, community edition is that it's running uh, a bit outdated version, 7.33. However, this is not lagging behind too much, and you can still use this uh, free version during the course to follow up on the exercises and hands-on we are doing. Uh, another limitation is the low ingestion rate, uh, only 50 EPS and 50, uh, 5,000 flows per minute, but still it's, it's very good for the uh, lab environment. The hardware requirements are very uh, less, only 6 GB, uh, 6 GB RAM, uh, 250 GB for hard disk and 2 CPU cores. Uh, but the recommended is to increase the CPU cores to 8 and if you are considering applications it's, it's important to increase the RAM as well. Uh, so basically this uh, free uh, community edition is coming in OVA format or a virtual appliance. It's not like the enterprise coming with uh, ISO so you go through two phases. Uh, of installation first the uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux is being installed and then the uh, package the curator package itself is installed after that here it's an OV appliance coming shipped with the uh, a free version of CentOS uh, and uh, the um, curator is being installed uh, uh, as soon as you initiate the the or import the uh, OVA you can just issue a script called the setup and it will take you through the uh, wizard. Uh, you can download this uh, community edition from www.ibm.com forward slash community forward slash curator forward slash CE. I will uh, include this text uh, not the bad uh, in the resources section of this uh, video. So you can just copy this into your browser right away. So next we need to import the OVA into our VM, uh, v VMware or whatever the hypervisor we are using and then you need to log in and choose a password and then this is the critical crucial uh, point in the successful installation of the community edition you need to make sure that the appliance has internet access with at least one network adapter that's configured with static IP so we will go through all of these steps to make sure that we have uh, the right connectivity and DNS settings and then we can safely then start the setup and go through other steps until we reach to uh, one more important step which is to apply some batch by uh, IBM actually it's a flash notice that is issued 2020 back in 2020 to solve some issues the licensing of the community uh, edition and then after that we need to reboot the appliance so this basically the steps let's uh, start right away and download the the version of the uh, um, the uh, community edition so all you need is to come here uh, in the URL I mentioned before and then you press the button download curator community edition it will take you to a, a login page where you can uh, actually uh, need to uh, apply uh, your credentials if you already uh, registered before or if not you can register and the nice thing that you can register with a non-business account so uh, something like gmail or hotmail or whatever and you can see here is th this is the actually the flash notice that i i was talking about that includes the uh, the batch command that we need to apply at the uh, end okay and uh, after you log in you will get the this page where you can download the OVA and you can see the size is around 4 GB uh, the uh, the G, uh, 4 GB okay so let's now right away go to uh, our VMware so instead of creating a new virtual machine and this time I will open a virtual machine and here is the OVA I already downloaded I will give it a name like uh, curator community edition version 733 okay and this actually I will save it 
in this place make sure you have enough disk space in the place you will uh, install your virtual machine okay so uh, here I'm importing into this uh, folder or this under this name and after that we can actually increase the hardware resources so um, I will uh, increase this to 16 GB RAM and the cores I will make it 8 so to make uh, the installation as fast as uh, possible for you guys and then here well I need to come here and uh, I will uh, make this 16 as I said okay and here I will make the processors 4 times 2 so make it 8 and I will leave the network adapter as bridges so let's go now to this point where you need to ensure the internet connectivity so the bridged, net, uh, bridged networking is preferable and we can see other things we need to do as well so for that reason I will leave it bridged to my uh, uh, adapter uh, here I have uh, some uh, Wi-Fi connection uh, to the internet so I would bridge it to that uh, connection okay and then press ok and then we can start the uh, virtual machine uh, you can see here CentOS so it's a free version of OS because this is a free community edition so uh, for sure uh, IBM will not give you a red hat for free um, okay so here you will get the uh, prompt to login so we just uh, log in with root and here you will choose a new password so we are at this step so we downloaded the OVA we imported it and now I logged in as root and now I need to choose a new password so for that you can choose any password complex okay and then um, you need to repeat this password uh, okay uh, okay sorry I make it uh, very quickly let me retype it again okay so now they are matching next you need to um, uh, execute this uh, step where you need to ensure the appliance has internet access with at least one network adapter that's configured static IP this first uh, sub step we already do done we, we, we set it is bridged we now need to go through all of this through the NMTUI a utility the network manager uh, utility so if you check now here you'll see that if I issue the IPA uh, command I have a loopback interface this is coming by default let me zoom in a little bit so you can see here I have a loopback and I have uh, uh, another interface the ENS 33 but the ENS 33 doesn't have uh, still doesn't have um, uh, an IP address so we need to just issue this one okay and you can see three options edit a connection activate a connection set a system host name so basically I will start with edit a connection so to define everything the con uh, the IP the connection name the uh, DNS uh, gateway so uh, so on so forth and then I will come to set the system host name to a fully qualified do the domain name as mentioned here we need to set a fully qualified do domain name and then back I will come to the activate uh, connection to just deactivate activate like shut down the interface and shut uh, and make it up again so edit a connection the wired connection this is a profile coming uh, for the connection name so actually I need to remove this name and set it the same way add uh, the ENS uh, the, the, the name you can see in the device so I will make it the same ENS 33 okay ENS 33 so the same name you see here you put it uh, here okay so let me uh, zoom in so you can understand what I mean so I basically this one I make the same as this uh, one okay then you need to uh, use the tab or uh, uh, button to navigate between the options so here uh, I have the Ethernet okay um, uh, I don't need to do anything here I need to change the IB version 4 configuration I make it manual and for the uh, IB version 6 configuration I will make it ignore I don't need so then I will come to the IB version 4 configuration I make uh, press enter to uh, show so actually tab is used to navigate between the options and enter to select an option then I will press tab to go to that option I press enter because I need to add an address and here I will put 192 168 okay 
So before choosing the IP, let me show you guys what is the subnet I have for my Wi-Fi. So my Wi-Fi here, the, the, the connection I'm using to the internet is in this subnet, 192.168.18.15 and the gateway is 192.168.18.1. So I will select any IP in the same subnet, okay, and we'll set the same gateway. So 192.168.18.182, for example, okay, and uh, then I will select a gateway or set the gateway, the same thing, uh, dot .18.1 and then the DNS, I will choose the famous quad 9 okay, and then here in the search domain this is actually the domain uh, uh, because I will choose a fully qualified domain name for my appliance so I will choose any uh, random domain like infosec.com and that's all, so basically let me review again uh, the configuration, so I have uh, make here the ENS 33 same like the device and then the address I put it uh, the one this one similar uh, to the uh, subnet uh, that I have for my Wi-Fi okay this one the 18 uh, I, I will I will um, exit drawing okay let me uh, show you so this one so I put 18.182 so it's in the same subnet as this one and the gateway I put 192.168.18.1 and then quad 9 for the DNS and the search domain infosec.com and then here I will just press ok and then forget that I uh, for the IB version 6 I, I selected ignore and then I press ok then you can notice now that the, the profile changed to ANS33 matching the interface name then I use a tab to go to the back and then I will go to the set system host name and here I will change this all together to curator community edition dot remember the search domain infosec.com and then press ok the set host name to curator infosec.com ok then now I will go to activate a connection and then I press deactivate activate so it's like shut down and uh, make it up again then back then quit so if we exit now you will notice that the name has been changed to curator community edition so you can see here curator community edition okay so um, if we uh, are log in again using the password we uh, selected before Okay, and issue the host name command you'll notice the complete name sorry the complete name is curator dot uh, curator community edition dot infosec dot com okay and if you try to bing internet like google dot com you should be able to do so okay so you can see I can bing google dot com however if you try to bing yourself like the curator community edition it's not bingable Okay, or uh, the info the curator community edition dot infosec uh, dot com. Also, it will not be bingable because the reason behind that that we haven't set that in the etc hosts file still looping to the loopback address. So to do that, we need to actually edit this file. Okay, and we need to put this IP inside. Okay, and remove the default entries. So I will use the VI. So here I press I to start inserting and put a hash to just comment this out and another hash to comment the version 6, the IB version 6 configuration and then press enter and here I put the IP 192.168.18.182 the IP I shows for the appliance and then here I will put the name curator community edition and again curator community edition.infosec.com and then escape and then colon see the wq so let me zoom in to show to see here colon wq okay so uh, back here i press enter now if i try the bing curator dot uh, curator community edition.infosec.com it's working if i try the uh, sorry let me try again the uh, bing without the domain 
it's also uh, working if i check the um the resolve.com you will find your dns configuration is very uh, good correct so you can see the search domain and the dns so now you are good to go with the setup so uh, here let me go back to the steps so let's revise what we have done uh, what we have done so bridged network is preferable so this is exactly what i did at the beginning in the settings of my virtual machine i have chosen my network adapter as bridged okay and then next we have renamed the connection profile to match the device name we have named it to ens 33 so you can see here that the interface has this name and if you go to um if you go to um etc sysconf network dash scripts you will find a configuration uh, for the uh, that profile so if you check it here yes you see if config dash ens uh, 33 back to the steps now change the ib version mode to manual and the ib version 6 to ignore we already done that set the fully qualified domain name so for example we have set it to curator community edition dot infosec.com deactivate and de and activate the interface ensure the host name is resolvable and comment out default entries and then validate the dns settings now we are ready to make the setup so ju just make dot forward slash setup okay so let's clear this mess and then uh, we can uh, start the setup here it's just issuing a prompt for accepting the CentOS uh, EOLA so because it's actually a free version of the CentOS you have to accept the license agreement so you just press enter and then space to advance through the EOLA okay and then uh, uh, press Q to uh, uh, just being prompted again for accepting the terms then here you press enter and then uh, you will get the notification uh, for installing the curator community edition you just press Y so basically all of this I have stated here guys so you can see uh, press enter to accept so you see here space and then Q then enter then Y until you uh, come to uh, the uh, yani this will actually start the installation you can see it will start downloading things as you can see and um, uh, making the installation so uh, basically guys the, for the coming five ten minutes it will be an installation you don't need to do anything uh, for sure we will come back after that to continue with the installation and setting some password for the admin interface uh, remember the password we have set before is for the root for the cli access but we need to set another password for the gui access okay so we'll come back after this installation and also to apply the batch line that i mentioned before so uh, what i will do now i will speed up the video for you guys not to be uh, um, uh, bored by the the installation but this is good that you have the recording you can uh, rewind get back to any point in the installation and compare it with whatever uh, you are doing in your lab so you you have a reference so uh, stay tuned and don't skip uh, uh, the try to uh, get through uh, the uh, speedy recording of this installation uh, it will help you uh, get uh, fam to be familiar with what's going on so basically you can see for for example here it's it will download around 5.3 gb of packages and will do installation for them and then it will come for some database uh, configuration and some network settings so i will leave this for you guys to discover it yourself okay so i will be silent and the video will be speeded in the coming minutes
Okay, guys, so we are back now. We can see that uh, the installation is almost done. You can see from here that uh, the uh, after services script is being executed and you can see this final message initial configuration is now complete you are now ready to connect to the appliance so here is a prompt to choose the GUI admin password so you can make it the same as the CLI or you can choose a new one okay and so here I put the password and that's all uh, the admin password has been changed so now we are ready to connect actually there is a script uh, uh, that is useful or utility that is useful to uh, check the services are up and running so if you find uh, uh, search for it through the this find uh, command find for slash minus name it's called wait for I remember this keyword so you can put asterisk anything and then wait uh, underscore four score asterisk let's search for it yeah so it's there in this path slash opt slash curator slash upgrade it's an upgrade utility actually but it's um, very useful to check the services are up and running upgrades and then wait for so you can see here that the services of the community edition uh, are running uh, and if you notice this services or processes are much lower than that in the case of the enterprise however as we mentioned this is very good for practicing for hands-on okay so let's connect to the IB address uh, we configured for our uh, community edition which is this one if you remember guys the one assigned to the ENS uh, 33 so let me zoom in to this one okay so 192.168.18.182 okay so let's um, um, go for this one 192 so https 192.168.18.182 okay so you get this uh, warning, this normal, because we don't have, uh, we have a self-signed certificate issued by the curator itself. Uh, um, so you can see this is a certificate uh, that uh, the web uh, site uh, does not support. So you, you can see here the uh, certificate. Okay, the certificate is actually um, not uh, uh, trusted by our browser so here I will accept the risk and continue and then here I log in with the password we just uh, set for the GUI the admin password and you will get a prompt with the uh, license agreement the first time you log in so you accept then you will log in to your community edition which has a perpetual license and if you notice uh, the GUI is pretty similar to the enterprise so if we go to the admin page and we go to the system license management you will notice the host is active and the license is perpetual and here you can see the event rate is uh, 50 uh, slash 5000 for flows okay um, and uh, but if we go to the log activity here you will notice that nothing is coming and this is because of the uh, bug that we need to rectify using this one so we have finished here the steps the setup we have accepted the eula we have um, chosen a password for the admin we have rebooted the the appliance is being rebooted automatically and here we logged in and now we need to apply this line uh, to the uh, so let, let let's connect using uh, Bower, uh, uh, sorry, not PowerShell, Super Putty. So I have here uh, Super Putty, this uh, old connection. So let's uh, connect to 192.168.18.182. Okay, accept the SSH key, root, sorry, need to log in again. So root and then password. The password complex I put here, I think, yeah. 
and then uh, I need to apply this one so I can now copy and paste copy so this one will be included in the resources of this lesson so you can uh, get it uh, right away so I just paste here and press enter now we I need to report the upline so till this uh, happen uh, no logs will be coming here okay so we need just to report the our community uh, edition so let's watch it here from here okay so um, shortly we should see the report coming or even we can just reset it from here right away uh, reset okay and then it will boot up this time it will just load the CentOS uh, not going through the setup again so as you can see CentOS Linux 7 and when we got to the prompt we can go back to our uh, super putty so we can initiate the session again root password okay and here let's try the wait for start still the services are stopped as you can see so it will refresh each 10 seconds to show us uh, the uh, status so once they are running we can log in so this host context is now running let's wait for the others okay it should be fast it's not heavy like the enterprise version and i already uh, assigned it remember guys uh, enough resources actually more than the minimum uh, of this one sorry it's in the it's in the machine itself yeah here so remember uh, we have 16 gb ram 8 core processor so yani it should come more fast okay let's wait for more seconds So you can see here statistics oh, okay. now all are running that's cool so let's now go back here and refresh again we come to the prompt admin password complex okay never so now we can go to the log activity we'll start seeing logs coming now because we have applied the batch so we should start seeing things coming here hopefully yeah you can see here uh, logs started to come okay guys so uh, let's recap um, so the last step we have reached the last step so basically this was advantages free version disadvantages outdated uh, hardware specs and then you need to download the OVA, it's OVA not an ISO. Then you need to make sure this is a very critical step in the successful installation of the community edition to make sure you have the right network settings to make sure you have internet connectivity, the fully qualified domain name, the, uh, the DNS settings, and then you run the setup. It should go smoothly. You have to wait for 10, 15 minutes, depending on the speed uh, of the internet because you are downloading uh, like 5 gp of packages and also depending on the resources you assign to the appliance and then uh, you need to apply this patch and that's all guys for the community edition now you have the free version with you during the course you can use it for uh, following up the other lessons thanks for watching and see you in the next lesson